Hello from Purple Bandidos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Light Platinum. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we took on Seanport City's gym leader Lucas, and we obtained the C badge. In today's episode, we are going to continue onwards with our adventure, as we still have five badges to get here in the Ziri region. I'm feeling pretty good. Now, oh look, here's that old man that always likes to sit down. So let's go ahead and sit next to him then, and I'll show you guys the level ups. I've trained a little bit off screen, as you can see, Loki's 30. Roku's 33, Shockey's 34, Versus 34, Whoops is 21, and the egg has still not hatched, which I'm kind of surprised about. I don't know what's going on there. We are going to have a couple battles coming up today, so let's go ahead and take on the first of many. And with that, guys, what? Whoops is evolving? And yeah, who would have thought? All of our Pokemon have eventually evolved. And then there's Whoops. So today, Whoops is going to get an evolution. I know, I know. We've been talking about whether we're going to keep Whoops on our team or whether we're not. It's still a 50-50. But for now, Whoops is going to stick around. So congratulations. Our Whoops evolved into Gloom. And there we have it, guys. Whoops has evolved. So let's keep on going here in this journey. I've been training here, but... I don't know. He hasn't gained a level in an hour, apparently. So there's a couple of rocks over here. This is Seanport City, and then to the south is National Park. I believe that's where we're going to be going. This guy's actually not a battle. I'm surprised. Oh, he went ahead and gave us a HM. Okay, so we obtained HM06 Rock Smash, and that's what we're going to be needing to proceed onwards to the National Park. Okay, we're slowly starting to figure things out. Also, thanks for your tips, guys. It really means a lot to me. It really has been helping quite a bit. Make sure you guys give this video a like. It really helps the series. So let's go ahead and obtain a max ether, 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 ether. I always have no idea how to pronounce that, but who is this? Today the sea looks calm again as I had hoped. This must be a sign that the world is returning to normal. Nice to meet you. My name is Thomas. I have to head back to Dardusk City now, but I hope to see you again. Nice to meet you, Thomas. You are really one creepy dude. Who the heck brings ghost Pokemon to the beach? I don't know about you, but if I saw a ghost Pokemon at the beach, I'd be just a tiny bit freaked out. So let's keep on going. I actually need to teach one of our Pokemon Rock Smash then. I know that we should have had an HM Slave to actually learn these moves. But regardless, I'm hoping that we'll make it to the move deleter eventually. And then you know what? We still have a bunch of TMs and stuff that we can throw out at our team. So I'm going to go ahead and teach Rock Smash to Loki then. Why not? You know, we might as well teach it to one of these Pokemon. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of probably Scratch. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of Scratch then. It shouldn't be too much of a hassle since we still have Headbutt. So we'll be okay with a, you know, powerful move to at least get through some enemies. So let's go ahead and use Rock Smash then and make our way to National Park or at least close to it. I actually don't know where it is. It's a little bit further it seems like but I am going to try to explore around as much as possible. I know that there are a ton of TMs laying around as I've told you guys. There are a bunch of TMs spread around this game but looks like we are going to have another battle so let's take this guy on too. So with that guys, surprise, surprise, Loki is evolving. So that is our second Pokemon of today that is evolving. I know, it's going to be an evolution-packed episode because it's right about that, you know, midpoint in the game where we really have to start establishing a solid foundation for our team. So with that, guys, that looks really, really cool. Congratulations, our Loki evolved into Zoroark, as you can see. Now our Pokemon are starting to look a little bit better and a little bit stronger, and I can actually, you know, be happy about that. It's kind of great once your Pokemon finally start you know coming into their own and as you can see at the bottom of the screen our team is actually looking really really good and this is just pretty much the beginning of our adventure who knows what crazy stuff our team could turn into as we really get going I'm gonna put Roku up in front though I'm trying to get Roku a couple levels you know today just keep it going a little bit see if we can just power it up as much as possible completely forgot to use my repels what the fudge a, a chat -a? okay that actually looks freaking weird. Kind of kind of weird to see that Pokemon here. I'm not used to seeing so many Pokemon from so many different generations packed into one game that it, sometimes I see it and it starts confusing me a little bit. I'm like, whoa, 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 what is that? Like a new Pokemon? We also just obtained uh, TM47 Steel Wing. So that's pretty cool. We can definitely teach that. I don't think we can teach that to anybody, at least not at this point of the game. It's been a long time since we battled, Rodri. But now I'll show you the meaning of power. All right, here we go. Rodri versus gold. Let's go ahead and take on Gold then. And he is going to have four Pokemon ready to go. 
All right, good thing we opened up with Roku. Am I right, guys? At least we'll have a powerful start to this battle. I know that sometimes we get a couple mismatches, but so far it's been going pretty good. I hope you guys are enjoying your week. You know, it's kind of crazy how fast this week has flown by. Before you know it, it's like next week, and before that, it's, you know, one of the holidays. It's like Thanksgiving or, you know, Halloween, whatever, in no order. You know, no particular order. Might have messed up the dates there. And then before you know it, it's like Christmas and New Year's. And before you know that, it just keeps on going. I feel like time has been flying this year. It's crazy to think that we're already in September. Do you guys ever have those years? I mean, I feel like every year is like that, where you, you look back a little bit and you're like, whoa. It's already like this late in the year. I feel like it was just New Year's just a little bit ago. I feel like this has definitely been happening. It's been one of those years so far that there's already so much coming up. Like it's already, you know, coming up on the holidays, but it feels like it was just New Year's yesterday. It's so crazy, like how time flies. I've been thinking a lot about that because I've just been having a lot of crazy dreams. I don't even know where the heck I've been having these crazy dreams, but you know, I'll have dreams that feel like hours or on hours but sometimes i guess you could have dreams that feel like days you know depending on how it is it's like you're living a whole little life in that dream which is crazy to think about and then you wake up and it's like an hour has passed or five minutes and it's like how the heck does that happen in the brain how can your brain make you feel like you've passed days or hours and then you wake up and it's like five minutes you know, it's really strange to think about. It, it's crazy. It's a crazy thought. Another thing, I think it was uh, in one of the Pokemon games, they said something like, dreams are just a different reality. What if they are? What if what you're experiencing in your dreams, whatever it is, whatever, you know, crazy adventure you're having in your dreams is actually something that's happening in another reality. You know, there's another dimension where you're in it and you're just watching yourself in that other dimension go through that. It's kind of a weird thought, right? That all that could be happening? Just food for thought there with dreams. Dreams are really, really weird. You surprise me more each time we meet. Until next time, friend. All right, see you later, Gold. Good to see you again, man. You always provide some good XP, and I enjoy the challenges along the way. So let's keep on exploring around here. Not much, not much. I actually haven't been finding a lot in rocks lately. I expected us to bump into these rocks that are always, like, at the little corners or something to try to get a potion. But there really hasn't been much, which is honestly a little bit surprising. Looks like we're going to have another battle, so let's go ahead and challenge this guy. Okay, let's keep on moving then. Keep on trucking. And it looks like there's a guy over there just running around doing some sort of crazy shenanigans. Got ourselves a little bit of calcium, though. Is there going to be anything up here? If I bump into some scary Pokemon this time around, I really don't know what I'm going to do. I've been bumping into some really strange ones, some ones that really haven't been expected. And so far, it's been so good. I think we're getting really close to the National Park, though. So let's battle this guy up next. Alright guys, there we have it. Roku is evolving, and this is one I've been waiting for for a really, really long time. As Charmeleon's evolution is one of my favorite Pokemon. So here we have it guys, it is time for one of the best evolutions, I believe, in this game, in all of Pokemon. So with that guys, congratulations to us. Our Roku has evolved into Charizard. So now we have a Charizard on our team. We have a Gloom, we have a Zoroark. So we've had three evolutions today. Who's gonna evolve next? Is this egg gonna hatch? Find out in the next episode. I'm just, I don't know. I have no idea if this egg's ever gonna hatch. We've been sitting here running around for who knows how long. We've probably ran a couple miles by now and I'm still surprised that this egg has not hatched. So guys, we have officially arrived at the National Park and Dark Dusk City is on the horizon. So I think we're going to have to cut through this park in order to make our way to that city where that scary guy, Thomas, I believe was his name, was headed. I don't know who he's going to be, but we have ourselves another battle. Okay, okay, not too bad. For those of you guys who are following along, by the way, I suggest that you battle as many trainers as possible here. It's been really good XP so far. What the fudge? Okay, he is a trainer. Let's take him on. As 
as I was saying, you guys should take on as many trainers as you can and make the most of it. It's actually really, really helpful when you can just battle all these trainers, get all that XP, and obtain all these different, you know, items they give you. As you can see, we just obtained a light ball. So the more trainers you talk to, the better you're off you're going to be, which I find it to be really, really good in this game. I've obtained a lot of great items that I don't think I would have got if I was just running through most of these trainers. So I'm just going to try to talk to all of them and hope that we get something out of this. Who's this? My boyfriend and I love to look at the lake. Oh, wow. That, that's good on you. I mean, you should probably keep your uh, shinks a little further away from the water, though. You, you know, you don't want a, a little accident there. You don't want the shinks to fall in, electrocute you guys. You know, no big deal. All right. Our bag is full, though. But I believe we have talked to everyone we needed to. They are telling us about, about some bug catching competition. But for some reason, we can't do it yet. I don't know why. There's some competitions we can't do yet in this game. Maybe that's something we have to unlock the further out we get. But with that, we're going to have another battle. So let's take them on. All right, guys, so there we have it. We are really close to Dark Dust City. Hopefully, that will be the last battle we have to do. But honestly, I'm not too sure. I mean, I kind of wanted to throw out our Charizard, you know, so we could actually get a little bit of experience on it, see how cool it looks. But the fact that it has a paralysis status on it, you know, these Pokemon just keep giving them to us, makes it a little bit difficult. I definitely will be stocking up on more supplies, though, as we go. I feel like we could use a couple more full heals and all that sort. But with that, guys, it looks like we are going to have another battle. So here we go. All right, there we have it, guys. We have made our way out of the National Park, hopefully to Dark Dusk City, and we have arrived here in Dark Dusk City. I like the fact that it's been raining in a lot of these towns. It's kind of like a little peaceful feeling to it. I definitely have been enjoying it so far. I like that. It was like the rumors of the tourists going, uh, you know, tourists disappearing. It's just a rumor. Don't worry about it. Come on in and visit our town. You know, don't even worry about the disappearances of the tourists. It's just a rumor. Next time, guys, we're going to continue from here. So make sure you give me some tips on what's coming up. Leave me a comment. Really means a lot to me. Make sure you give this video a like. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.